Okay, welcome to the part 2A of this asset tutorial. In this part, we will be creating the setup for the standalone version of the C Sharp script. This version doesn't need any player integration. The bow itself can simulate and shoot projectiles. Okay, so I will be using the model that we created and rigged in the part 1. And here is it. Here it is. Okay, let's drop it on the scene. It's kind of big. Let's actually create a plane. Okay, yeah, it's really big. Reset. Let's make it big. Reset that too. And let's make it smaller. Shift F. Okay. Let's create a new material for it so we can easily see it. Ground. Let's quickly do something. These steps are not important. I should have prepared beforehand. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so we have our ball model. Let's create a prefab of it. Original prefab. Uh, let's drop it in here. Okay, double click it. Remove the animator. At the standardized bow component. Well, okay, standardized bow. This is the standalone version. This is the player integrated version with the animator states. This is the player integrated version with the animator parameters, Boolean parameters. Okay, we will be using this first. Okay, so we opened up the prefab menu. Here you can see our default values. It assigned the default projectile, the axis, uh, sounds, and other things. Uh, the only thing we should assign is the joints, and we have a button for it. If you j followed my first tutorial, you can just press this button. It will automatically find the right joints and bones. So press save and test it. Yeah, as you can see, we have some acceptable results and it works right out of the box. If you followed my first tutorial, if you didn't, you might have to tweak these uh, parameters in here, the axis, the band angles, the elasticity, projectiles, offsets. Uh, I would suggest you to follow my first tutorial, okay? Um, this is the standardized ball script. Uh, let's see the projectile. The projectile is uh, arrow mesh plus the standardized projectile script and it has some um, on hit particles. These sounds are placeholders uh, they won't be included in the um, complete package but you can just put whatever sound you have in here and these are the hit detection tags. Whatever tag it will collide it will spawn the correlated on hit particle and on hit sound. And that's it. Setup for this one is pretty easy. Let me actually show you the collision detection. Let's create a cube. Okay. Let's scale it. Let's make it. Uh, I created my text beforehand. So let's make it metal. Let's create one more. And let's make it flesh. Okay. In order to see clearly, let's create two more materials. This one is flesh. This one is metal. Let's make it more dark. Let's make it red. Okay. So let's try shooting both of them. Okay, first one is the meat metal. Okay, let's open up the scene. And let's shoot the flesh. Uh, 
as you can see, the colliders are correctly working. Okay, this is it for the standardized ball, standalone version. Next, we will be doing the player integrated version with animated states. Okay, I want to make sure that you understand that uh, the projectiles are will be provided to you with the package, but the sound effects are just placeholders that I found online. Okay, so you need some sound effects. I'll probably leave you some sound effects, but they will be probably just sound effects that I created. And I'm not an artist, sound designer, so they won't be good. Just so, just so you know, okay? See you in part two, again.